Whether you are growing your personal brand or your business, you have to be blogging, and here is why. You're gonna say like, come on, like this is 10 or 15 years old. How are you still talking about this? The truth is, if you're not doing email marketing, and if you're not blogging, guess what will happen in a few years? You will be in a world of pain because everyone else in the marketplace is producing so much content that they are just making it harder and harder and harder for you not only to rank, but for you to be in a position to even, to even show up. It's not about old school SEO techniques. This is literally about you being the type of person or the type of brand or the type of company who takes the time to put out content. When you think about your website, your website isn't a brochure, it isn't just a, a, a conversion funnel, it is a digital ecosystem. It's the hub. And yes, you can grow your social channels but people are gonna end up on your site. And you can grow your paid strategy that drive people to landing pages where they get gated and they get signed up, but they're gonna end up on your site. If your site has poor performance scores or poor relevancy, your business is gonna die. When we sit down with our clients, we look at what other people are doing in the marketplace. We look at exactly how much they're spending on paid search. We look at exactly what they're doing for Facebook advertising and for landing pages and for email marketing. We pull all of this data. At the end of the day, the hardest thing to catch up on is the fact that these people have half a million monthly organic visitors. They have a website that's 4,000 pages deep. How do you fight and how do you win against these players who have such a huge head start on you? It's to start, it's to start today, it's to start right now and it's to always be doing it. If you are not blogging and everyone else is, you have to blog just to keep up with them because every single month they're pulling further and further and further ahead of you. At the end of the day, the greatest thing that you can do is release content consistently. And I'm saying blogging, blogging is in written form, but if you're not good at writing, you can do a video and then you can take that video and you can transcribe it. And then you can quickly take that transcription, clean it up and add it to your site. We do that for markdreger.com. We take each one of these videos, we transcribe them and then quickly do a rewrite and then upload them. So guess what? I release a blog post every single day. Or let's say that you're not comfortable on video, but you do live webinars or live presentations. You can take your sales meetings and you can record the audio from that and pull little snippets. You need to be releasing content consistently to your site. And so when people wake up to this fact, they freak out. <laughs> It is so much work, so much time, so much money. How do I do this? Or they get super fired up. They go to a conference and they're like, oh, I need to be doing this. And then they go typing away. It's not that exciting four weeks in, six weeks in, six months in. And then it cools off and something else more exciting comes along, so they stop. And so ultimately, you need to be able to create a process that works for you at scale forever. If you're a great writer, book the time and write. If you're better speaking, write off the cuff, hold up your iPhone, record yourself, take a voice memo. You can sign up for different email newsletters, find out what other people are doing in your industry and get inspired and have your take on it. There's so many different like editorial and tactical things you can do to come up with a piece of content consistently that doesn't have to take hours and hours and hours. You can go to writer's access and you can have people write blog posts for you based on the ideas that you have or based on research that they do. Go ahead and hire a full content marketer that you bring in in house. You can do anything that you need to do from tiny to huge as long as you do it consistently and you create content for real people. Make it interesting, make it funny, make it entertaining. The next thing you need to do is make it work within your ecosystem. So your website is an ecosystem and writing blog posts take time. You know, like I would start with at least two per month, but go to four per month, go to three times a week, whatever volume it is that you can keep up with where the quality is still there, start small and build your way up to it. Once you've done all that work and that effort to create that content, Let's say that you do two blog posts per week. You now have eight per month. Your email marketing campaign just got a whole lot easier because you don't have to write anything for your email marketing campaign. You can literally take the top two or three or four topics from the month and just push it out. Suddenly, email marketing is a really easy thing for you to do. You wanna help draw more people back into your site? You can start a remarketing campaign. We do this for clients all the time. It works really, really well. We put a pixel on the site and people who land on the site for the next 30 days, we remarket through Google banners or through Facebook, the top two topics from last month. We're using last month's blog posts to reconnect with people who have hit our site, 
because they may find it interesting. And this costs like, I don't know, we spend $100 a month, $300 a month to continually remarket to people old content. Not only that, we start to learn then which titles or topics pull better, which types of images pull better, which types of industries pull better. And then we can take that data and bring it back onto the site to make the H1s, the H2s, the, the pages, the site structure. We take the data that comes from remarketing campaigns to make our website better. Doesn't take that much time or effort because the blog posts are already written. You can take your blog posts, drop them into Facebook and boost the posts, right? Really simple, really easy. Throw 10, 15, $20 there. We do this for other clients. It sees crazy amounts of results. You can take the last three months of blog posts and take the best bits of them, stitch them together on a common theme into a white paper, and now you can run a LinkedIn campaign. And that LinkedIn campaign can be for this white paper that drives people to a gated page where they have to enter in their email, and suddenly now they're on your email list. Wasn't that hard to put together this white paper because you had all of the topics already created. You could take those blog posts that are pulling really, really well, and you could turn them into short video excerpts. And suddenly these videos, which you can just shoot on your phone, what are you gonna talk about? Well, you talk about the topics that have pulled the best in remarketing because you know people are interested in them. And then you could remarket those out. So when we sit down with someone to talk about content marketing, of course, we talk about blog posts or writing content because that from a content marketing point of view is so important to start to build out this ecosystem where any single activity would be really, really, really expensive if we weren't already producing the regular content. Once you're producing the regular content, each other tactic is really simple, really cost effective to throw together, to add on, to test and to bring into your ecosystem. But all of it would fall apart if you weren't doing the blogging. You wouldn't have the traffic coming in, your site wouldn't be growing, you wouldn't be increasing your relevancy in Google's eyes, you wouldn't have anything to email out or to remarket to or to spin or to do anything else with. You would be at zero. You have to be producing content today. The best way to do that is in a blog. Start with twice per week, start to build up, start to build your ecosystem. You will be happy and thankful that you invested the time and the money in doing so because it will lead to every other advanced tactic. So get comfortable knowing you have to produce content consistently all the time that people like. Suck it up, invest the money, take the time and do it because you have to do it today to grow your business. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about that. Once you produce content that you are proud of, that people are engaging with, start to spin the hell out of it. To spend a little money here for remarketing and push it out. To bring it into an email marketing campaign, to get people onto your landing pages because of white paper offers. Do everything that you need to do to just take advantage of this ecosystem that can exist all around your blog posts. But it starts with putting out that one or two posts per week consistently. This is not an option today. This is something that you have to do to compete in business, grow your business, and to be ready for the next two, four, six years ahead. You will not look back on this with regret. If anything, you are gonna kick yourself for not starting sooner. So get to work and then see the results come in. Why are we having this conversation? Why? If growing and scaling your business by being better at sales and better at marketing, better at customer experience is important to you, be sure to check out this video right over here. And like always, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon, and get each video every day when it drops.